You sure you want to do this? Uh, why wouldn't I? Uh, because I think that you should just quit while you're ahead. Settle for what you've got. Quit trying to chase the elusive, Rick. It's not going to make your brother be any other kind of brother. He's not going to be the one you want him to be. Oh, believe me, I gave up that fantasy a long time ago. You finally have the access that you want. Enjoy it. Let that be enough. Oh. Come on, Rick. Using me to bring down your brother's never going to make him love you. You're not listening, okay? That's not what I'm after here. Then what is the point? Oh, What's the You're point, You're smarter Rick? than this. I would have thought you figured it out by now. I want everything. I want everything that Sonny has. I want his money. I want his power. I want his wife. And you know what? Why don't you make me a drink? Make sure it's the good stuff. Uh, why don't you make it yourself? Why don't you pour it for me? I'd like it better. Okay. Something about this seems very right. You jump it through hoops, it's a nightmare happening. There you go. I hope you choke on it. Ah, you're so sexy when you... Very, very sexy when you piss, you know? Why don't you go over there and take your clothes off? And do it real slow. Like you like me. Somebody who hates me. You sure were enthusiastic. <laughs> Feeling manipulated, aren't you? Oh, I wonder why. That's the only way I can get you to see reason, Claudia. You're so infatuated with being Sonny's wife. You'll be disillusioned soon enough. can't kill me. What? Hmm? I know how you think. A little problem comes up for you. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't do that to me. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm very sure. You ever heard the expression, um, in the event of my death? nonsense about your death? Copy. I made a copy. Of what? Hmm? Of what? DVD. Jerry's DVD. So that in the event of my death, uh, it'll be sent to Sonny and you will know what she did to Michael. Who did you give it to? <laughs> As if I'm going to tell you. Just been really stressed out and on edge, and I, uh, I 
guess he finally just caught up with me. Well, I just want to say that I, I didn't have time for you earlier, and uh, now I do. So if you want to go ahead and get to do it, this just... I um, will come to your room. Uh, let me just freshen up a little bit. No, 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 don't. You know, I don't know. Freshen up, just rumpled, sleepy, I like... No, I know, but I'm, I won't change, I promise. I'll wait. It's, it's fine. What are you doing? More drink. What are you doing? Look, I just, I don't want it like this, okay? I don't like want to do it like this. I don't want to do a quickie in my bed, in my uh, messy, dirty bed, and you're drinking out of my dirty glasses, and, oh, come on. A girl what? needs a little bit of romance. You never care you know? about this stuff before. What do you Well, what? I care about it now. Just give a girl a break, will you? Well, hold we on. We need to have a little bit of romance. So you go downstairs, uh, and you just wait okay, for me. Don't, me don't take it long, okay? Because I'm, I'm, I need it right now. Okay. All right? I'll be right there. who shows up to help them? It sounded urgent and nice. He can be trusted. Fine. Rick Lansing is upstairs in my room, and Sonny doesn't know he's here. Just get him to go out the window. That usually works for me. He overdosed on pills and booze, and he passed out cold after we had sex. You gotta get him out of here. Finally, someone more screwed up than me. What exactly do you expect me to do about this, Claudia? I need you to get him to the hospital and make sure he gets his stomach pumped. I will distract Sonny. We're going to be carrying dead weight down the stairs. We're going to make some noise. He won't notice. He's waiting to have sex with me. Hey, well, well if Rick is up there naked, I I'm not going upstairs. He's not naked. I dressed him. He's dressed. You have to hurry. Rick needs to live. I get it. Okay. Well, this is going to work out perfect. I mean, the hospital is on the way to the airport. How about making one of those for me? Uh, I'm way ahead of you. I'm gonna just uh... What took you so long? Just tell me what you want. And that is what I'm gonna do. Okay? Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Not that I'm complaining. Better not be. What the hell's going on upstairs? What do you mean? What was going on last night? Yeah. That's what I want to talk about last night. Right. That was incredible. That was pretty incredible, right? You had all these heavy hitters here, and you were the most powerful guy in the room. And <laughs> just like I knew that, you know, you could be. And you made me your wife. You made me your life partner. And so now... I just want to show you how grateful I can be. Nice, Sonny. I just want a little truth here, that's all. Um, I 
give you what you asked for, and you think that I have an agenda? You've been working very hard since the mob summit, right? But it turned out great, so I don't understand why you've been working that hard. So it makes me think that something happened last night that you're not telling me about. What happened was I saw how great we could be together, and I I realized what I, what I stand to lose. But I haven't given you any reason to think you're going to lose anything. Tony... I turned my father over to you. I pretty much handed it to you with a big bow on him. I stood by you. I've shown you that I am willing to do whatever it takes to make this marriage work. I'm giving you everything. The least you could do is just try to meet me halfway. Yeah, halfway. I can do halfway. Business meeting. We need to follow up on the meeting. Well, okay. It was a great night, huh? Sonny completely solidified his position as the head of the combined Zakara Corinthos organization. A little enthusiasm, Jason, or. Okay. Okay, Claudia. Hmm. We got a lot to talk about, so, uh, you yeah. know. Okay. Yeah. I'll. Go do something outside of the house. Oh. Thank God. Oh, I was so worried about you. You almost died. <coughs> Rick, it took a time. Don't tax yourself too much. You're in the hospital, obviously. They say you're going to be fine. I don't know, actually. You were talking one minute, and then you just passed out cold. I was scared out of my mind. I couldn't risk Sonny finding you there. I mean, can you imagine? I'm trying to explain that one away. I called Johnny, and he came and got you, and he brought you here. But don't worry, I covered. Sonny doesn't yeah, suspect anything. Try to kill me.